Some of the buildings at Yedinastego Listopada Street were built in the 1860s after the fall of the January Uprising. The Tsarist administration built barracks as quarters for its troops. Their task is to supervise the situation in Warsaw. The first unit stationed here is the 2nd Orenburg Cossack Regiment. The unit originates from a place more than two and a half thousand kilometers east of the Polish capital. The inscriptions scratched by these soldiers are preserved on the bricks of the barracks. After regaining independence, the academic legion occupies the barracks for two years and then the 36th Infantry Regiment is created on its basis. Until the outbreak of World War II, many Polish units are stationed in the facility. During the German occupation, the barracks are occupied by Nazi troops. Therefore, their capture is one of the most important tasks of the Praga insurgents in the summer of 1944. The action is commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Antoni Zurovsky, pseudonym Bober. On August 1st, the German crew of almost 1,500 soldiers is reinforced with 20 Tiger tanks. The insurgents capture the first line of German defense and the fighting for the barracks continues until August 4th. Thanks to the support of armored trains and tanks, the Wehrmacht retains control over this area until mid-September 1944. The 1st Warsaw Infantry Division, named after Tadeusz Kosciuszko, captures the barracks on September 15th. After the end of the war until the 90s, in the barracks we will find the headquarters of the anti-aircraft defense of Warsaw. The military band and the Veterans Association still have their headquarters here. However, the barracks area is mostly used by civilians. We will find here one of the headquarters of the Scientific and Academic Computer Network. It is one of the institutions that manages the Polish internet. In the old part of the complex, there is a day room for children as well as non-governmental organizations and private enterprises.